today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to build an app, a very simple app to uh, go into Bootstrap Studio. This is the first time I've ever used Bootstrap Studio so you'll, you've seen it exactly how it happens. And what I'm going to build, it's this thing that uh, Google's uh, pound to stone. So for example if you put in 10 and that will come to 0 0.7 stone and like one this is the important part here pound is one so that's one pound so that's 0 0.0714 blah 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 okay <coughs> and that's how uh, we're hopefully going to build this it's a little bit difficult in bootstrap studio because you're not seeing all the code at the same time so so for example it's easier in a in a code or html editor but anyway off we go so here we just have the uh, the normal thing here where we just put our stuff and I'm going to go for a form all right so just go for some form elements and just drag that across there's your form and what we want to do here is just go um, convert to HTML custom code and edit the code Okay, so here we have like form here on the right hand side here. Um, okay, in that form, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type name. I mean, this form isn't going to go anywhere, so it's purely just for the app. Na name in, uh, keep it all lowercase. All right, okay. So here we're going to just put F1, okay? So the name of the form is F1. That's important, okay? So just knock this down a bit. And uh, the next part is I'm going to put in uh, a paragraph. So I'm just going to put P and close brackets, P there. Okay, oops, I haven't put the P in. So I'll just put P there. Wrong way. If you just bear with us there. All right, so there we have a paragraph, okay. And we're going to put, call this paragraph class. I'm going to put a class for this. And we're going to call the class... Um, We'll call that font. So, just going to do that. All right, and in that we're going to put in pounds to stone converter. Okay, pounds to to stone stone converter, or is it er? Maybe er. <laughs> Can't spell. Right, okay, so if we just apply this, so far we've got that, okay, but we can mess about that with the um, CSS editor. All right, so the next line is I'm going to put an input, okay, and you can put inputs from here, um, put the text input, all right, but I feel more comfortable doing it in this for for now. Input, input, um, and I'm going to put in type equals. I'm going to call this uh, text because the type of it is text. All right. Okay. So the name is going to be a. Okay. So the name is a. I'll just get rid of this Facebook notification. Right, okay, so here we have, and the value of this value is going to be pounds, okay? The value is just the name, I'll be yes. Okay, so we're just going to close that off there. You don't have to have a closing tag for inputs. Right, so I've got this there. Um, as I say, I mean, you can put the... Uh, text input along there but I'm gonna gonna leave that I'm gonna do um, this here so the next line I'm gonna just like sort of 
go control C, control V, and there it's pasted. But the value this time is going to be stone. Okay. So we're just going to put in uh, stone. Stones. Okay, or stone. I think that'll be that would be better. And we just put a capital on there just to like these to be all rounded off. Okay. So now if we just apply that, we see there if you if you cannot say that very well. I'll just preview that and open in a browser. Alright. So see how this is coming along. When it loads. Okay, so there you got your pounds to stone converter, LBS stone. Okay. In the middle of this, I think what we should do is just put in um, the styles and we'll just put in for this, I think, uh, form. Um, we just put in margin left. Auto, okay. Margin right. Auto, all right, okay. Um, that should have worked, but it hasn't. Anyway, we'll just go on. Uh, so anyway, we've got this here, and we've also got, we're going to put in a button now. Just put that control C. Oh, these notifications caught on Windows Gallery nerves. Um, control V. And then we're going to put in where it would be text there. We're going to put in a button. And the name of this button we could put in con. So as in converter. Okay. Um, and these are all variable names. Uh, they don't have to be what I'm putting here. You could. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, you know that you could put in whichever one you want. Convert, okay. So just apply this here, and there's your there's your main things, okay. All uh, right, okay. Um, so anyway, we've got got to this here. On the input um, button, we're going to put an on click. All right. So to do the JavaScript on this, on click and just put this down so we can see what we're doing on click and we're going to put equals and we're going to put in um, con v and parathesis so we're going to put that in there okay so just apply that there okay I'm still going with this my uh, thing here so what I'm going to do is going to put width 300 pixels right that's why it doesn't um height and yeah I was right there I just couldn't couldn't think 400 pixels okay uh no 300 pixels just for now okay so now that if we preview this we have this here okay so you've got your LBS your stone and your convert button Okay, pounds to stone converter. All that would have to be tidied up and everything like that, but um, this is how it is at the moment. It really is. Uh, background color, one of my favorite colors, F90. Okay, so you've got that there. Okay, right, so we've got most of that done uh, for the uh, actual. Uh, form uh, input and that. So I'm just going to put in a, a break here. So I'm going to put in br. Okay. So if we just apply that, the convert now goes down there. Um, just going to put in a classes font. So here we're just going to create. Um, dot font which is the paragraph okay come on to you to you uh i'm going to put in that font size okay 
Um, we're going to call that extra large. Okay. So that's okay. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go for the um, the most difficult part of this, but there's not much in it. Okay, there's not not a lot to do with this. So if you put in this now in your um, pounds thing, you got four and you convert it. It's nothing would happen. Okay, so this is where the JavaScript comes into it. So here on the right hand side you have your JavaScript, your pages, styles, JavaScript, fonts and images. So with that we create a JS, okay? So this JS is uh, open. Right, okay, so the JS here is open. So with this with this bootstrap here, if this was a normal editor, you'd be actually able to see everything that's going on uh you you know you could have like sort of the the documents side by side but this you cannot but the custom code is really taking this thing and calling it a function this on click here con v okay so that's uh that's gonna like sort of trigger a function all right okay I know some of you probably have never done JavaScript before, but this is um, how it's going to go down. Okay, so we're going to call a function, okay? Function. And we're going to put, call it con v parathesis. And these have curly brackets, okay, to call a function. Okay, so that now, I'll just apply that. Okay, still nothing will happen. So that is this here, the convert is colon c o n v curly brackets and this it calls the function c o n v curly brackets um parathesis and curly brackets okay so now we're going to use the variables the variable that we're going to use is a so you can call call it anything you want you can call it well as i say anything you want very make sure though it's something that you can remember okay so what we're going to call is document document dot f1 dot a dot value okay and then we're going to put in a semicolon there so what that's saying there just apply that so what that's saying now the variable is calling the form name equals f1 and the f1 the a which is the input is say lps and the value all right okay so go down to the next line okay and what we're going to do there is going to call this document dot f1 which is the form okay dot b dot value so b is the second one underneath okay equals a times now if we go back to this here one pound equals 0.0714286, right? So we'll just call that there. And we put that number in there, okay? Control V. All right, okay. So we just put that on there, apply it, all right? And now we go to our browser and check this out. So put this in here. Convert should work. Huh, it doesn't. Right, uh, function da, 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 page of value just go to custom here. Right, um, this here should be B. When I've copied and pasted that, I forgot to put it into B. So that, the first one there, we'll just go in here so you can see all the code. Um, input type, the first one should be A, so that should we co uh, correspond to the lbs here second one b is the stone okay right so um just come out of there right and um, we'll preview this okay so one convert there you go so there, there's the um if you can see that all right okay so for example um about 14 stone okay so that will be one dot thing 14 stone that would be 
you have to go for it's about 200 pounds isn't it 200 pounds okay there you go so that would correspond to 14.285 stone um and that's basically how you do it so i'm sure i've probably lost a few of you on this um and you know if you're interested in this type of thing the css you know i mean <laughs> it, it's it's not great but of course that like, you can you know tidy that up at any time you want so if you have any questions on this uh if you you know want to know more about how to build javascript apps and so forth uh you know I, i'm very happy to do them and show you okay so again thanks for watching and thanks for listening